Hello friends, welcome to Knowledge India. In this tutorial, we are going to understand about application load balancer. Now this is a layer 7 load balancer, which uh, Amazon launched some time back. Uh, prior to this, we used to have uh, ELB, which is now referred to as classic load balancer, right? Now classic load balancer is a uh, network layer load balancer. And this one, as I said, is application layer. What's the primary difference between the two? In case of classic load balancer, uh, the uh, you know this load balancer can never understand or can never distinguish the incoming request in terms of the in terms of the content which it is trying to request. So essentially, when we set up classic load balancer, all the n number of machines which we register to that load balancer would have the same content or would have each would have all the files similar, right? Uh, and hence, uh, whenever a new request comes. The request can go to any of uh, any one out of those instances right whereas in case of application load balancer we can go ahead and create rules right or basically uh, kind of guiding principles based on which uh, any incoming request can go to a specific target group so now let us go ahead and uh, see that with an example to understand it more so what i've done here is there are two EC2 instances, both of them are Windows and there is web server IIS running on both of them. But the, in terms of content, it's not same. On one of the machines, on one of the machines, I have a folder and inside that all images are there which I have got. Whereas on the other machine, I have got a work folder inside which the necessary HTML pages are going to be there, right? So my idea is to try and show <coughs> that how can you differentiate based on the content requested and you can uh, create rules which will redirect or which will basically which will basically forward that request to the specific target group and hence to the specific instances so uh, let me show you that uh, that how i've done i'll also show you step by step how to you know how to achieve the same so these are the two instances what i've done is uh, further to that i've gone ahead and i've created two target groups one I've called as IMG, another one as work. And in this, you need to specify. So everything I've kept in default VPC, uh, I'm not getting into the whole uh, VPC, uh, um, uh, you know, positioning of instances. I'm sure you already understand that you should try and keep your instances in the private subnet and all of that. I've covered this already into many of the videos, right? <coughs> in case you have any doubt, you can go ahead and look at those videos once. Now, in this, um, what I've done is, so I've added one machine, which you can see this particular machine in IMG, in the same way the one machine is added to the this one. For health checks, uh, uh, I have created a test.html page and it is placed in both the, in you know, in both the machines, as you can see. Now, uh, let me show you both of those machines. So you can see that there is one which is 51 and one with 176 as the IP address. So here is the one which is with 51. So in this I have got a work folder. Let me show you. Uh, I'm sure all of you understand IIS. So once you create IIS, you will have triple W INET pop triple W root folder. So inside this I have put test.html. So if I go ahead and try to hit test.html, I'll be able to see that it is working, right? So, all right. So with this, my health checks would pass great. Um, then I've created a, folder called work and inside work folder i've put a page called workpage.html this is one of my machines right so this machine is added in the target group work all right uh, then looking at the second one uh, this is machine you can see 136 176 in this machine in triple uh, inet pub triple w root i again have one test.html in order to pass the health checks and then i have created another a folder called images and inside images I have got two different images, right? So here, if you see here also the health checks would pass easily because I have test.html. I'm just showing that the uh, URL is valid, right? So uh, this is good. Now, this is what I want to do. I want to set up the website in such a manner that whenever a URL comes, which is, uh, you know, which has to serve images, which are there in the, uh, in the uh, which are there inside images folder, right then it should go to one particular target group which is 
this one and if it is you know other pages then it should go to the other one all right so you see that uh, uh, these are the two target groups and i have done the setup i'm sure you know how to under, how to install iis and everything on two machines right then uh, here is the alb which i have launched and in the alb if you go to the listener so there's only one listener uh, because it is all you know both the is are running on port 80 and hence uh, port 80 alone has been configured as one listener here but within that i have defined rules so if you go to view and edit rules you'll be able to see those rules okay so uh, like yeah let me just show you those rules it's it's quite simple So as you can see, uh, like one rule would always be there, which is the default one, which you cannot delete, of course, which says that, you know, by default, send it to one of the target groups. In addition to that, I've added two groups, two rules here. So in one, I said, if the path is like a star images star, same like wildcard type of thing, right? So if the URL, which is being requested, it has the word images in it, then send it to IMG target group. In the same way, if it has work, send it to work you can go ahead and define further rules like this. I'll come back to this particular thing and show you. Let me just show you uh, the demo of what we have done. So I picked up the, uh, you know, I've gone and picked up the uh, URL of, um, or basically the, uh, you know, endpoint of the ALB from here. And I have tried to open it in the browser. If I just write this much, uh, just the plain this thing, Oh, sorry, I think I did not copy it well. Uh, yeah, so if I just put this much, I'm going to get the default one, meaning it will it is going to the IMG and where our IAS is running. Now, here is the stuff. Once I put slash images slash say logo one uh, dot JPG, right? So now this is getting served from one of the instances or from one of the target group now if i go ahead and uh, write work slash work page dot html right now uh, i think uh, oh i did a spelling mistake yeah so see this is work page served from work folder so the the idea is this though there is this one website right but based on the url based on the content at the application level we are able to define rules we are able to say if it is say for example images so look at this url pattern send it to one target group if it is all other html or you can think like jsp pages or aspx pages send it to this other target group right so you can define it that way so and for that's the difference now this is not possible in case of your uh, classic ALP right because in case of classic ALP all all the machines which are registered to the load balancer they would have same content you cannot do this type of uh, uh, routing at all now let us go ahead and quickly I'll quickly show you that how to create ALB and the target group it is quite simple I'm sure you understand how how I have made how I have created the two EC2 instances right so I just launched it installed IIS and in one of the machines I have put uh, images folder and I have put images and the other one I have created a work folder and in that I have put an HTML file it's simple now let us go and do the ALB and this part so I'm what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and uh, try to delete this let's see if you are able to delete this okay I will also go ahead and delete both of the target groups and we will do it in front of you from scratch all right so first of all let's create two targets so i would always suggest that it's better that you create target group first so that you can just choose it in case of your uh, alb so first target group i'm gonna call it let's uh, call it that way you know images and uh, protocol is http on port 80 the default vpc i need to give the uh, you know the valid url for the health test so uh, health checkup so it is test.html We'll say create all right now in this uh, you can also go ahead and uh, you know register things so uh, 
both the machines this ui is a bit uh, you know not very great if you see so i need to select one instance and add it to this particular thing right so uh, let me just uh, see which one so this is images one right so images are being served from 176 ip right so 176 ip is 551 so i'll select this 551 instance and i have to press here this is a bit uh, weird actually so when you press here it will get added at the top i i really wish they would have like they should have just put it otherwise registered one should be there below and then this button should have been placed here but anyway so you do this and say save so this instance is registered here great now uh, to this particular target group. let us create one more target group this one we will call it work as work you can give any name you want i'm just giving work so that it is simple for us to uh, uh, you know to recognize that sir so okay we'll say create okay and we'll go to this one work we'll say actions here and uh, so last time we did the one five five one right so uh, this time the other one we'll choose and we'll say add to register and we'll say save all right so our two target groups are created right next is we are going to create an application load balancer so we'll go and say create load balancer and we'll choose this one see first application load balancer option so this is like our load balancer and within that this is one target group this is another target group in the picture you are seeing that both target groups have got two instances uh, in our example we are just taking one one instance but then it is simple you can have n number of instances that is not a problem okay so you can just go and say let us give it some name i'll call it demo one i want to keep it internet facing only one listener on port 80 and uh, we can choose any number of uh, you know uh, subnets so i'm just choosing two availability zones just following the principle of high availability next next i'm gonna choose um uh, we'll just create a new one and i'm opening port 80 from everywhere right for my load balancer next now i need to choose the uh, target group so i'll just choose existing and there are two we can choose any one uh, this will be the default one just for that purpose so we'll say this then we'll say register targets so based on what you have chosen the instance id is being shown that's okay just say next and say create right so your load balancer will get created now once it is created you need to go and select this and here is the important stuff so you need to go to listeners and in the listeners you can see one listener is there good uh, you need to go to view and edit rules okay now here see one default one is there which is saying always send it to images uh, target group now we will add two rules right default is there we'll leave it as it is we cannot delete it we'll add two first is insert rule we will say if path has got images right again i'll put star then forward it to images okay we'll say save and then we can insert one more rule we'll say if path has got work in it then forward it to work we'll just save this now both of these things are done good now let us go back and we will pick up the url this is the url let us see and try to open it right we'll go ahead and uh, we'll try to put this thing oh, sorry video because it takes some time for the uh, for the application load balancer to get provisioned it is provisioned i took its url from here uh, you know uh, the basically i took the url and i pasted here you can you can see that it is working then in the other pages uh, in uh, you know i have put the same url and i wrote slash work slash work page dot html and you can see it is working it is getting served from one of the target groups you remember and then and the you know one more url where i have written slash images slash logo one dot jpg and it is getting served from the other instance if i go ahead and write because there are two files i can even write logo two dot jpg and you can see it is getting served uh, just to review here is the uh, you can go to listeners and you can press on view edit rules 
and you can look at the rules what i've done is simple if the path contains images send it to one target point if it uh, contains work then send it to the other target point so that's how it works that's application load balancer if you like the video go ahead and press on like button share this with your friends please subscribe to our channel and make sure that you remain updated there are a lot of other videos on the channel please watch them and learn thank you bye bye